for a long time. The keywords for Hollywood movies were disasters and superheroes. Now they need to add China to the Chinese. Not in the distance. It's a Chinese station. Chinese lifeboat. This is Shenzhou. Thanks to my uncle Tommy in China, we got another chance at this. Why are there more and more Chinese elements in Hollywood movies? And why are those Hollywood movies being changed? Right now, I'm at Shanghai International Film Festival, the most influential festival in China. I'm going to meet some of the movie people, trying to figure out how China is influencing Hollywood and the reason behind it. Max Michael is the head of Asian business development of UTA, one of the top agencies in America. In 2014, he helped to put the Chinese actress Li Bingbing in Transformers 4. When they were coming up with what to do for the next Transformers years ago, um, you know, the, the studio and Michael Bay and the producers, they all decided that it was really important to have Chinese elements to that movie because the franchise was already popular here. They approached us about Li Bingbing and we talked to them about putting her in the film. And when, when we originally talked to them about putting her in the film, there wasn't actually a role. And so we had them write a role for her. She ended up meeting Michael Bay. He loved her and made a really amazing role for her in this film. And the film ended up grossing, you know, a, a very large amount of money here, especially at the time. She was a little nervous at first and we had to convince her, look, this is something that they're really focused on and we know they understand your value and they know who you are and they really want to make sure that it's that it is an impressive role adding in new scenes for her and fight scenes and cool opportunities within the film i talked to some guests at the festival and i realized that keeping a close eye on china has become a common hollywood strategy well, there's the motivation now because the markets are so explosive. Truly see that China is the future of the industry. It is really the frontier. Then, how big is China's film market? China tops the world in terms of the number of screens, and has become the second largest market in terms of the box office. If you take a look at the market performance of Transformers 4, the box office in China ended up at $291 million surpassing America's 245 million. The efforts Hollywood made to cater to the Chinese market seem to be ineffective. But how are they received in America? Some people view it as a threat. They fear losing their own control of their business and their industry. They fear not being able to have an industry that reflects the reality as they see it. I would argue that that was a mistake. I told people, I, the people that I speak to in LA, I say, that's, you don't have to do that, right? Just make a great movie, you know? But do you think all the Chinese audience love that? Love all those Chinese elements? I don't think it's effective. I think that movies that don't have those elements perform quite well. This is Christopher Bramble. He came to China from Hollywood 15 years ago and opened a film company which does special effects for many Hollywood blockbusters, including Transformers 4. Chris does not reject the Chinification of Hollywood films, but he thinks the more important issue is how. Two years ago, we had a project that was a disaster movie. This is another example of that co-production model not working, which is we had to sort of tell a story in which Lu Yifei was Kevin Costner's daughter, and we were like, will the audience believe that? So we stopped our pre-production, we took a deep breath, and we reformulated the movie as an all Chinese language movie. Because ultimately what we decided was, we have to tell the most authentic version of this story, and that needs to be a Chinese language movie. So part of this learning process for all of us in the industry is learning to be flexible with what we're doing. Currently, there are three models for a Hollywood production to enter the Chinese market. The import quota film, the strict import film, and the co-production. The Kuda film model is winning the day, even though the system restricts American film imports to 34 titles a year. According to the Sino-US Film Agreement, signed in 2012, the American filmmakers share 25% of the box office takings under this model, far behind the Chinese local film's 43%. The Sino-US Film Agreement will expire by the end of this year, 
and that means the numbers in terms of percentages and quotas will be renegotiated. But what's certain is that more Hollywood movies will come to China. But these films are harder and harder to be considered as the pure American movies. You know what's behind them? The Chinese money. This is Zhong Bojin, the major principal of TMP's China operations. In 2015, TMP invested in Hollywood film company STX, which agreed to produce films together in the coming three years. In 2016, TMP acquired major stake in I'm Global, the largest independent international distribution company, apart from Hollywood's big six film studios. This是我们要做的事情。我们始终相信中国的内容要走出去，我们要在发行渠道向占据优势。所以我们呃在做这个公司的第一步，我们就看中了I'm Global 很纯正,我们就是要做运营,最终是为了内容和这个渠道去服务的. TMP was founded in 2015, with headquarters in Los Angeles and offices in Beijing and Shanghai. What's behind it is a group of famous Chinese investment companies, China Everbright Limited, Tencent, China Media Capital, Huayi Brothers, and so on. China市场这么大,为什么要飞到丁瑞塔来乌呢? 在中国市场深耕你永远做你自己的小买卖市场很大没关系你这小买卖永远可以只卖一块钱但是如果你赋予它更高的附加值这个小买卖也许可以变成一个大买卖它可以是一个一百万美金的生意你为什么不做呢 TMP is not alone Since 2012, Wanda has acquired AMC, Legendary Pictures Alibaba took a stake in Spielberg's Ambulin Partnership Chinese game and TV production company The Perfect World invested into no fewer than 50 films to be produced by Universal Pictures. Similar cases have continued to increase, but even if China buys all of Hollywood, it doesn't mean China-related films will make easy money worldwide. Because the market will finally return to the basic rule of films. And so the trick to making money in China, or America, or in a film, is to seek the richness of the cultures of the stories that you're telling. And if you can do that successfully, the riches will come. Everyone who's in the movie business it's, is in the business. And the business is create a product that the consumer wants. Tell a story the audience wants to, 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 to consume. There are numerous reasons for China and Hollywood to tie up together for greater business success, just like in many other industries between China and America. No matter in what market it is, no matter who will get more aggressive in this China-Hollywood relationship. But the recipe for success has never changed. That is to resonate with the audience through really good stories and genuine emotions. This is China Matters. Thank you for watching.